Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Well, a lot of stuff happened in the Fulte County uh, Courthouse today. <clears throat> U.S. District Judge Steve Jones declined the emergency requests from Mark Meadows and Jeffrey Clark. Rudy Giuliani turned himself in to get booked and had a freaking meltdown in front of the uh, courthouse. That was entertaining, not. So, um, and Trump's going to turn himself in on Thursday. So, let me get these videos up here. <laughs> uh, running out of time getting them up. Okay, so first things first, we're just going to do general reads on all this. Uh, <clears throat> what's the current situation with Mark Meadows and Jeffrey Clark? Again, they were trying to basically say that we're federal employees, so this case should be moved from state court to federal court. And then they were petitioning the federal court to say, you should toss these charges out because we were federal employees, therefore we can't break your state laws. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> the judge, for some reason, rejected that. I can't imagine why. Uh, how are Mark Meadows and Jeffrey Clark feeling right now? Because I imagine that they were really pinning their hopes that the judge would play ball, and he didn't. <laughs> Front and center justice. Well, there's a great card to start off with. Um, entertainment purposes only. Did I forget to throw that little disclaimer? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, they're facing justice all right. And maybe they thought they were going to get a judge who would play ball with them. But that's uh, not what I'm seeing. And yeah, they're left out in the cold now. This effort to get to federal court. Now, mind you, they do have a case on Monday. Or uh, I believe Mark Meadows has a case on Monday. But they were trying to get out from having to do this and be treated like common criminals. And well, guess what? You are a common criminal, so you're going to be treated like common criminals. So they're going to try and move this to federal court. I'm not excited that they are going to succeed in this. For them, that is. I, I'm not excited for them that they're going to succeed. I think that they are in trouble. Let me get this thing lifted up just a little bit here. Sorry to give you all motion sickness there. So they feel like they're left out in the cold and justice is going to rule the day. Now I'm going to uh, move these cards just a little bit form a little bit of an X because I've also been trying to read um, challenges and such. So in the past, we've got the Hermit. Um, their actions are being exposed, um, uh, you know, through all these interviews, uh, grand jury trials, evidence. It's showing exactly what happened as far as this Georgia election interference that these guys are trying to get out of. Current situation is the death card. Um, this is the end. They know that if if they're busted in this case, that that's it. It's game over for them. It's game over for their political careers, and it's game over for their um, for their livelihoods for several years because they will spend several years in prison. And who's gonna want to hire you when you get out? I mean, I suppose there's some packs out there that would want to hire you, but. This is for all the marbles, and they're not excited with what their chances are looking like right now. What they were hoping for was a victory. They were hoping that if they can get it to federal court, somehow they're going to come out on top on this one, which is why they've been pushing so hard. And I've been getting this reading a couple of times with, um, with Mark Meadows and to a lesser extent Jeff, Jeffrey Clark. But it's, there's something going on that they think if they can get it to federal court that they've got some legal loophole that will get them out of this mess. I'm not convinced that that is going to be the case if they make it there. First off, you have to make it there. And that's what they're still banking their hopes on. Mark Meadows has got his Monday trial, but he's going to have to be arrested before that. The lesson to be learned, though, <coughs> is that they broke the law. And they got caught. They thought they were being sneaky, but they got caught red-handed. That's not the path to victory. They think that maybe if they can get to federal court, they can get out of this mess. I don't think it's going to work that way for them. <laughs> Welcome to jail. Come in. This is this is the Fulton County Jailer. <laughs> at the courthouse. No, they're waiting for him. Hey, come on, guys. Come on in. 
don't let the bar scare you. We've got, you know, we've got mug shots to take and fingerprints and all sorts of paperwork for you to sign before we let you out of here. Oh, good Lord. Underneath it all is money, money and legacy. Uh, they're facing justice. They're going to be left out in the cold. They're concerned about how much money this is going to cost them. This is going to, they're worried about how this is going to tarnish their legacy, how it's going to impact their family, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, um, one of the things I've been trying to do is also do a little crisscross reading on this. So the challenge card with the past, you've got the hermit, their actions being exposed. Their actions being exposed are leaving them out in the cold. They're running out of options because they got caught red-handed stealing. And this uh, window right here on the five of coins stands for institutions like the church or the government. These folks out here in the cold don't have to be in the cold. They could go inside if they want to. Right now, the inside's ignoring them, but they could ask for help and get help. That's flipping and plea and asking for plea bargaining and immunity but man it's really late in the game they should have done this months if not years ago to get the best sentence they might still do it to get their sentence reduced but it's not going to be a big reduction at this point because they got the goods on them you got the justice card underneath you've got um uh, the end of things <coughs> the end of uh <coughs> The end of the situation because justice is here and justice is welcoming um jeffrey clark and mark meadows with open arms so they are they're in trouble they are in big big trouble all right get these cards in here yeah so they're that's that's what's going on with them right now. They really want to get this thing to federal court, and I'm just not seeing it. I am not seeing it. That's not what these cards are saying. These cards are flat out saying, y'all got caught. Y'all get to pay the price for being caught. All right. How would their trial go on Monday? Will they, will Mark Meadows be able to convince the judge to move this thing to federal court and that's not the vibe i'm getting the vibe i'm getting is that's not going to happen that doesn't mean mark meadows isn't going to try like crazy to get it done i'm just not seeing it happening and <laughs> he fonny willis had some great quotes you know basically yeah i mean basically they need to be arrested they, if they think being arrested is humiliating well guess what it is and you broke the law, you get to be treated just like every common criminal out there. You're not special. So Mark Meadows, Jeffrey Clark potentially, but Mark Meadows, how are things gonna go on Monday? You gonna get your you're gonna get your case moved to federal court? Oh, <laughs> you're gonna try, but you're not very good at this. He's not presenting a very strong argument. He's pre presenting a very juvenile, immature, undeveloped, unformed argument for this. Again, he wants that victory. He knows he needs to get this. But the Page of Swords is not... The, you want the King of Swords, not the Page of Swords here. <clears throat> I think that the... Um, let's just throw all the rest of the cards here. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you're in trouble, buddy. You're in trouble, buddy. Um, he's going to make his pitch. He's going to come up with some minor reasons why you know again like oh we're federal employees and it's kind of, the judge is kind of like that's all you got that that's your whole argument you're federal employees so therefore we should kick this to federal court the judge is wiser than that the judge is going to ask very direct questions as to why this should be done and other than winning he doesn't have any answers and the problem is there's a lot of truth and evidence out there to push against this argument that's why I don't think he's going to win. You have a page as the signifier, a page as the underlying thing, but you've got a mature um, high priestess, a, a major arcana front and center underneath it all, plus a hermit as like a, a follow up to this card. Yeah, I, I, I'm not seeing it. I am not seeing it. I don't know when the judge rules on that or how long the judge will take, but. Uh, I am not seeing anything that would get me. If those are my cards, I would not be excited. 
you have minor royalty cards, pages in there. Not kings, not queens, not even knights, pages, rookies, people who are unskilled or lightly skilled. We just don't have the experience. And I seem to recall when I did my previous readings on this, Fonny Willis had like the, uh, the, the, the Wheel of Fortune on her. It's like, oh man. Yeah, so let's wrap it up with Clark and Meadows. They are in a bad way right now. And I don't see it getting any better when uh, Meadows has his court case Monday of next week. I do not see this working out for him. Okay, so we're going to switch gears now. You guys see the, uh, the mug shots of Rudy and Sydney and uh, who's the other person that was on there? Rudy and Sydney Powell were certainly two of them. Oh, God, those people. Okay, so Rudy's out there. I think it was Brian Tyler Cohen had it on his channel out there saying, you know, when the political winds change, you better hope and pray to God that the Republicans are less corrupt than those evil Democrats because blah, 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 blah. You know what, Rudy? Yeah, you can. He was talking about how he was a great mayor and knocked down crime and took down the mob. Yeah, you did all that. And guess what? The bar's really high for you because you know exactly what you were doing. And when you were committing a conspiracy with Trump to overturn the election, and it was a RICO-like event, you should have been the first person to recognize it. And you should have also understood what the risks were. So the answer is, you did know it. You did understand the risks. You didn't think you'd get caught and held accountable for it. I cry, no tears for you. You... <laughs> With great power comes great responsibility. And for some reason, you forgot that second part of it. How's Rudy Giuliani feeling right now besides Super Cray? Well, he's <clears throat> he's trying to go forward with offers. Um, you know, he's put up his, bail, his bond money and such. But I think he's still trying to offer something of value. Is that to the Republicans? Is that to the MAGA crowd? Is that to the judge to cut a deal? That's the thing that's infuriating about these guys is that they say things publicly, but then they do something different behind the scenes. So they try to present themselves as these ultra mega alphas, but in the back they're simpering little beta males trying to do everything they can to uh, get out of accountability. So now he's trying to present this Knight of Pentacles, but he's crossed by the Four of Swords. <clears throat> I think he's trying to put on a brave face and offer something of value to the MAGA crowd into America, like, you know, you don't want to do this. I'm too valuable to do this to. But he knows he's facing incarceration. He knows he's facing incarceration. And it's going to be a good, long car incarceration. Um, mind you, Rudy is not a young guy. He's not in particularly good shape. And he drinks a lot. He's under a lot of stress right now. That's not good for your long-term health. And he's not a young guy, so even a moderate, like the five, you know, five-year minimum sentence, that could be a life sentence for Rudy. He may not last five years in prison, should he get that far. Okay. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles, and we'll switch it up like that. In the past, we've got the Two of Wands. Rudy's been trying to play this game. He's been trying to stay ahead of the investigations, ahead of... Um, ahead of the news cycle and strategizing. You know, he 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 was a prosecutor. He kind of knows what's going to happen in the order it's going to happen. And he keeps planning, trying to stay ahead of it. That's what I'm getting with that. You know, I've got this evidence. I've got stuff hidden around the world. Like, you know, he probably has little bits of cash hidden around the world. So if he flees, he's got access to money in different places. Probably why he's broke now is because He's been too busy squirreling his money away and he can't get to it because he needs that on a rainy day. But he's also been planning out how he's going to get himself out of this situation. But you got the two of wands with the four of swords. So it's kind of like planning on being on the lamb type of thing. Current situation, ten of pentacles. He has absolutely hosed his legacy. There's no doubt about it. Rudy had a legacy. Whether you liked him or not, he at least had this media legacy as, quote-unquote, America's mayor. And 
you know, folks in New York knew better, but the rest of the country really didn't know any better. But he's shown everybody who he is. And even in his interview in front of the uh, camera, he was basically saying, you know, people say I'm different. I'm the same Rudy as I was before. <laughs> Implying that, yeah, you were a corrupt, money-grubbing dirtbag even back when you were taking down the mob. That's what you're saying. Because that's who you are now. And if you haven't changed, it means you've always been a dirtbag. And again, there's people out there that'll say, yeah, that is true. He's always been a dirtbag. The only difference was, I guess, he replaced the Italian mob with the Russian mob. Way to go. Way to go, Rudy. So he's worried about his, his money and his legacy. And he's, you know, going forward with his message <laughs> of things of value. His, his, his life is, is pretty much valueless at this point. That's what I'm getting there. But... <clears throat> He's trying to still offer new ideas. He's still pulling this line that somehow he's being mistreated. Donald Trump was innocent. Oh, that was another one of his lines, is that Donald Trump is innocent. He's been proven innocent many times over. No, he hasn't. Courts of law usually prove if you're guilty or not. And pretty much Trump has lost every court case, including all the election challenge cases. So I'm really curious what the heck Rudy is talking about when he says Trump has been proven innocent. I'd love examples. Um, but Rudy's trying to go forward with that message. He's trying to tell the MAGA people. He's trying to signal to folks that he's still has some value. But you can see how he's already been diminished from a Knight of Pentacles to a page. He's he is diminishing as he's getting smaller as we as this trial goes on. We will watch him get smaller and smaller. He's going to try and flip. He's going to try and get some agreement with the courts as a state's witness. That's that's the, the wise play on his end. Um, I, you know, this could be him reaching out to MAGA or reaching out to Trump. But I think this is reaching out to the court because he can see which way the wind's blowing on this one. And this is his only chance of getting out of this. So he's always been planning his next step. Um, no, he could, he could go to prison for the rest of his life. And behind the scenes, he's probably trying to make some agreement saying he's got stuff of value. How much value he has, I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, so he's worried about all the money he's going to spend and going broke. He's trying to offer what he has left of value to the Hierophant. So he's, he's going to try and flip and go to the courts and see if he can get some type of deal. Um, if the court, if Jack Smith and the court don't take him up on his deal... He's done. He's going to prison. There's there's, there's no way Rudy does not go to prison out of all this. He's going to go. If he makes a deal, he's going to prison. If he doesn't make a deal, he's going to prison for a longer period of time. He's not going to win this case. Oh, and underneath it all is the uh, Ace of Cups, that strong emotion. So right now, he's scared. He's trying to play on the emotions of the MAGA crowd, trying to get them all riled up. And uh, that's why he's saying, you know, Trump is innocent and he's been proven to be innocent. And I've got scientific proof that the election was stolen and we're innocent. He has none of that. It's just words. It's insulting. If you might hear the disdain in my voice, it's just insulting to my intelligence, to, to my very core being to watch this guy tr look me straight in the eye through the camera and flat out lie we know who he is we've seen what he's done we've he's you know it's not like you didn't put yourself in front of the tv cameras and videos for the last several years spouting your crap we, we all know what you've been doing you should have stuck your tail between the legs and hit after the borat video <laughs> heck even before that your highlight was cross-dressing with uh, Donald Trump on your little video there. If you guys have never seen that, maybe I'll, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description so you can go <laughs> go see that and then find some eye bleach and some blame, brain bleach to, to bleach that out of your existence. So Rudy's in trouble. He's going to try and flip. Um... <clears throat> um Will Rudy be successful in turning state's evidence? I'm kind of curious. Will Rudy be successful in turning state's evidence? How is that going to work out? 
How's that going to work out? Hi, he's going to try and flip. Flippity flip, 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 flip. That's my flipper card. Flip, 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 flip. He's going to try and succeed. Probably will succeed to some degree. Let's see. Yep, there's the government. Going to flip, 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 flip. It's the end. He, he's got no options left. He has to flip. He's got no options left. You know, prison will be the death of him. It's just, <laughs> how long is your prison sentence going to be? King of Swords, there's Jack Smith. And the magician. He is going to try and flip. He's going to he's going to basically say, look at all these wonderful things I have to offer you. Um, but truly, in the end, he knows they got him dead to rights. And this is Rudy doing his last bit to save his butt. Trying to work with the government. Trying to work with the judges and the prosecutors. The, you know, Fonnie Willis in this case, but... It could also involve Jack Smith with the insurrection case as well. He might have to, uh, you know, if he flips with one, he's going to have to flip for everybody, right? It does no good to flip on the state charges if you're not going to flip on the federal. Again, I'm kind of curious to see if Trump gave him some type of pardon. Because if he did, he wouldn't have to flip on the federal because he's already pardoned for that. <coughs> Which is why he's going to try and uh, get out of the state charges because that pardon will impact the state charges. But uh, no, he's, yeah, he's going to try and flip. He's going to try and reduce his sentence as much as he can. Again, Rudy is way too late to the party on this one. And he did his, uh, his proffer about a month ago, wasn't it? Beginning of August, I think. He did his proffer where you basically, you get a day to spill your guts. And they'll give you the best deal they can after you've proffered. Hmm. Oh, God. Look at that. Rudy's in trouble. Clark and Meadows are in trouble. Shall we go to Sidney Powell? Shall we release the Kraken? <laughs> oh, that woman. That voice. Oh, God. Um, you know, I guess her court defense of... She, she took, what, the Tucker Carlson defense? You know, she lies. Why would you? Why would any reasonable person believe her when she's clearly not telling the truth? That ain't gonna play in federal court, girl. Civil court, maybe. Federal court, no. How much trouble is what's Sidney Powell feeling like right now? She's gonna work, working on her defense. I think she thinks she has a defense, and she's gonna be working on it. But um, I don't think she's gonna flip. I think she's just crazy. She's, um, she's going to, I think she's going to roll the dice. Pair of eights here, by the way. She is, she is, I don't think she's going to walk away from, from, uh, Trumpism and, and MAGA. I, well, maybe she will. Maybe this could be her walking away from, from, from MAGA. But I, I tend to think that, you know, with the moon blocking the sun, as things get revealed, She's going to be sent away for a while. She thinks she's got a defense and she's going to play on this defense. Uh, she's in trouble. She's in trouble too. What do we got underneath there? Planning. Well, she's got her plans in place or she's got an idea of what her defense is going to be. I'll be curious to see how that works out for her. In the past Knight of Wands, she's been waiting for this indictment to drop. She knew it was coming. She's been working on her defense. Um, and... Uh, She's been waiting for this indictment to drop. Now that it's dropped, she's got two ways to go about it. She can defend herself or she can flip. You know, uh, <coughs> again, my recommendation is flipping, honey, but uh, Sydney Powell doesn't listen to me. She can either tell the truth or go full BS crazy. Queen of Wands. She thinks she's got this. I know this sounds completely crazy and maybe I'm projecting my... Uh, my distaste for for her on this but this is a woman of action she she's got it mapped out and that kind of goes with the general vibe i'm getting from her is that she thinks she's got this she thinks she's got an out she can talk her way out of this thing or you know legally get her way out of this thing lesson to be learned is that uh that knight of cups um False friend? Testifying against others? 
I think this is more trying to basically, you know, it's, a, it's a false friend. This is, this is her basically saying that, yeah, she wasn't telling the truth, but she, what she was doing wasn't illegal. I think that's the route she's going to take. Um, she's basically, you know, you know, she's been waiting for, she's been working tirelessly or now tiredly about this. And she's going to say, you know, nobody should take me seriously. I'm a little bit, uh, nobody, no American should have taken me seriously. It was obvious I wasn't being serious or truthful. So nobody sh should hold me accountable. Again, that's a civil defense. So I, maybe that's not what's happening here, but she's going to try and present herself in such a way that's not true. Do not believe her if she says she regrets what she's done or if she's learned her lesson or anything along those lines. It's just a, it's a ploy. She's going to, she's going to go forward with the message, um, to maybe try and diminish what her role is. I think that's pretty much what it is. She's going to try and diminish what her responsibilities were <coughs> in this whole affair. She's going to say, yeah, I did these things, but it was under the guidance of Donald Trump. I was told what to do. I didn't do it on my own volition. You know, I was a, an ambassador for Donald Trump. You know, I knew better, but I was doing what the president told me to do. Uh, that It's going to be that kind of vibe. She'll throw Trump under the bus and just try and paint herself as, you know, not even a lieutenant. You know, Lieutenant Junior Grade. You know, she was, yeah, she was in the inner circle, but she was just, she truly, yeah. She's going to do it as in, I truly believed there was election fraud and I did my best to represent the president of the United States. It's not really a conspiracy because I truly believed it. I didn't think I was breaking the law. Um, blah, 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 blah. Don't believe her. She's going to sell it. But just because she's selling doesn't mean you have to be buying. I know pretty much my viewers won't, but some people might. Will she be successful in paint casting herself as a pawn, as a lieutenant junior grade, as somebody who truly thought that the election was stolen? It was doing everything in her legal power that she could to demonstrate that Hugo Chavez and Jewish space lasers and Italian hackers really uh, caused forest fires that uh, Im impacted voting machines or whatever kind of craziness nope nope and nope it's the end of the line for her say goodbye to your bar license say goodbye to your freedom for a while yeah sure she is trying to offer up i'm just a just a lowly a lowly foot soldier in this in this whole thing but the problem was <coughs> You were a hard-charging knight. You weren't some lowly foot soldier. We can show how you eagerly took on this job. She might even just say, I was doing it for the money. You know, I believed it or, you know, the money was too good to pass up. But they're going to show that she was very active and, you know, a hard charger in all this. All these page cards. Um, you know, yeah, maybe you didn't get paid, but you still went out and did it. You still went out and voiced the message. You, you took the message, you went around voicing the message, and you did it with eagerness. So we're going to hold you to account for that. Hire a fan underneath it. Yes, yeah, the government's going to hold her account. Um, I don't think she's going to cut a deal, and I think she's going to get a nice, healthy little prison sentence for her time. I hope they give her a couple extra years for insulting our intelligence along the way. Because, dang it, I want an extra couple years for being insulting. Okay, <laughs> 30 minutes. I think I've gone on long enough on this subject. Obviously, we're going to get more juicy stuff as the, as the weekend approaches and into next week. Um, so those are my thoughts on the, the Georgia indictments and people turning themselves in and how they're feeling and their challenges and so on and so forth at this time. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all your likes and shares and comments. Uh, for feeding to feed the YouTube algorithm to reach out so that new subscribers can find me or new viewers can find me and then subscribe and we keep the ball rolling and get the message out and hopefully we can turn this country back around to a more sane and kind place to live. 
Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for uh, watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.